What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ramster here, and today we're playing some J Stars Victory Versus Plus, the worldwide release of J Stars Victory Versus, a game that came out a year ago, only in Japan. Now, the only difference between this game and the one that was released in Japan is two things. One, it is in English, uh, and just in English in terms of like the majors and stuff. The voices and everything are still subtitled just because of licensing issues and stuff. And on top of that, a lot of these characters in this game don't even have English voices yet, so they kept the voices in uh, subbed in Japanese. Uh, and the fact that there's an arcade mode now. Now, the question is, is should you get this game or not? I know a lot of you guys are trying to decide between getting stuff like Batman Arkham uh, Knight, or just buying gum, or saving money for Fallout 4, uh, or J-Stars. So the question is, is should you get this game or not? Now for the beginner's of this video, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for a good squad game, meaning a game to play with your friends, uh, your homies, your, you know, your circle, this game is fun for, for just that. But if you're looking for something that you want to get like competitive at, something that you want to really sink your teeth into, this game probably isn't for you. Now. This game is kept pretty simple for the reasons of they wanted anybody that likes anime to pick up a fighting game and do their anime dream crossovers. And this is exactly what this game delivered. Uh, in terms of controls, it's pretty simple. Square is your basic punching. Triangle is like your heavy attacks. And then every character has R1 square, R1 triangle, which is kind of like the uh, special heavy and uh, basic attacks. And then every character has three special attacks that are unique to them. So like circle, forward circle, and R1 circle. And in Goku's case, circle is Kamehameha. Forward circle is just like snap, vanish, uh, melee attack, and then R1 circle is like a uh, instant transmission punch type of thing. It's like a counter attack. Basically, every character has three special attacks, and then they have their basic attacks to those characters. And of course, also every character has a unique ultimate attack that's activated if you do enough damage to battles. For example, with Naruto, he'll go into his Kurama mode and fire a Tail Beast Bomb when you, whenever you want to, because you transform first and then you fire it. Uh, Yusuke fires his uh, spirit gun that he fired against Taguro. Of course, Goku has a spirit bomb and stuff like that. You know, Sasuke has a Suzano. Uh, basically, the ultimate attacks that we saw with the characters that we grew up watching. That's what basically their ultimate attack is. So it's pretty simple, but it's still a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of really hard to explain if you should get this game or not, just because it's like I'm, I'm in the middle of both. Like I'm in the middle. I'm, I'm in the middle of the fence. Like should you get the game or not? In terms of what I'm trying to portray. But honestly, it just comes out like this. If you're looking for a game to play with your friends. This game's for you. If you're looking for a game in like the terms of you trying to get something you know re really good at, if you want to uh, find a game that's like in the Naruto you know, Storm Four or not Storm Four, but in the Storm series or even the Xenoverses or Tank Aichis, this game is far from it. It's again, it's very dumbed down and simple, but it's not like Ultimate Tank Aichi where it's like super dumbed down. It's fun to pick up your friends, and that's just about it. So does that kind of make sense? Uh, in terms of characters, there's a lot of characters in the game. There's no plan for deal. Uh, there's no plan for DLC, and it's funny. The reason why uh, for that, I found out at E3 because I got a chance to talk to the producer. The reason why they didn't include DLC in his game is because he, and I quote, he didn't want to slice the game up and sell it back to the fans later. So I gotta, you know, give him a thumbs up for that. It's very commendable because not many developers think like that. But at the same time, a game like this has so much room for DLC because there's so many characters that they couldn't include it, and. Um, uh, obviously, because of uh, you know, dev resources, they couldn't add them in. So it would be cool to see a bunch of characters get added in later, like maybe Zoro from Lu from uh, One Piece, or maybe Gohan from Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. That would be cool, and I'm pretty sure a lot of fans would have supported those characters. But you know, then again, I still gotta respect them for giving us the full game and then not worrying about shaving anything off later or slicing it up and trying to sell those later. So that's pretty commendable. But outside of that, it's it's pretty simple. Like I said, this is the exact same game that came out a year ago, just with the whole worldwide release aspect of it. Because remember. Everybody outside of Japan did not get this game. If you imported it, you got lucky. Everybody else kind of had to kind of sit there and wait and watch YouTube videos until you know uh, the game came out today, pretty much. Because remember, originally there was no plans of releasing this game just because it was licensing hell. But uh, Bandai Namco finally managed to like get the li licenses cleared and delivered to the game to us uh, today. So yeah. So I don't know. I guess I'm gonna turn it over to you guys. Who plans on getting this game uh, when it comes out? It already came out in Europe. In uh, US, it should be coming out on the 30th uh, of June. Um, so let me know your thoughts if you plan on buying this game or bought this game, what you like about it, what you hate, and just express, I guess, your opinion there. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I kind of want to make a quick video because I know a lot of you guys are on the fence about this. And again, if you're looking for a fun squad game, this is the game for you. But if you're looking for something that's more competitive, more serious, I, I would probably stay away from it. Uh, I mean, that's not to say you want to enjoy it. It's just you're not going to get the game that you're looking for. This is not the game that you're looking for for those people who are trying to get competitive and stuff. But yeah. 
So anyways, I kind of want to put this quick video together, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, this is the game, obviously, in the background, so let's just take it from there. So I will see you guys in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I kind of said that backwards. It's okay, so I'm just going to walk away now awkwardly and stuff. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't know what that bloop, bloop was. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.